here with junior pitcher TJ Zoic. TJ, you've been off to quite a successful season so far, five and one start and just seven so far. How have you been able to come back from that slight groin injury and manage to have such a successful start? Well, mostly with the help of my trainers, uh, they did a, a fantastic job uh, with rehab and you know getting me stronger and getting back, getting me back on the mound. Um, and, you know, just staying focused while I was hurt. You know, uh, having to sit there and watch my team play for the first four weeks uh, really kind of hurt a little bit, um, and it really just motivated me more to get back on the mound and help them win. Coach Giordano has described you as somebody able to control their emotions on the mound. What would you say your approach is? My approach is just keep things as simple as possible, you know, control what I can control. Um, you know, umpire makes a bad call, somebody makes an error. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Letting those things get to me and, you know, kind of getting my head will only make things worse. So as a pitcher, it's kind of my job to keep the game in control. Uh, everything goes off of me. So if I'm, you know, under control and uh, self-conscious of my emotions and everybody else behind me will be too. You were drafted by the Royals out of high school. How have you matured as a player since then? I think I've matured tremendously, you know, become more of a pitcher instead of a thrower. You know, as a 17-year-old kid at a high school, I was, you know, just kind of throwing fastballs by guys. Now at this level, you can't get away with that. You have to be able to throw off-speed behind in counts. You have to be able to throw multiple pitches. Um, so I really think uh, that I've done a, a good job over the three years that I've been here, and the coaches have helped me tremendously as well with that, you know, developing those off-speed pitches and being able to throw them behind in counts and being more confident with them as I've gone on. How much did you appreciate this time at Pitt, though, getting to come to play college ball and then going off to the draft next? Well, the experience was tremendous. I've made, you know, lifelong friends here, um, you know, I, thinking about it all ending, you know, I've gotten a little bit emotional sometimes, uh, just, you know, playing the game without some of these guys that I've played with for the last three years. It just, you know, the baseball just won't be the same. Um, and, you know, being able to play against this competition uh, every weekend uh, for the last three years has just been outstanding. It's been able to help me, you know, develop the way I need to uh, and to prepare me for the next level.